Oh. Do you see why? This is like one of my favorite places in Sydney. Yeah. Okay. Nice. No, it doesn't take much to make me uh make me happy. Welcome to Cabramatta, where it's just started raining on me. Oh, we'll walk and talk in the rain. I've been seeing some people do some vlogs about Sydney and I've got to say, there's more to city, there's more to the city than the CBD or Sydney city, Darling Harbour. If you're traveling to Sydney, going to those areas, it's going to be mad expensive. Wait, I think we've gone the wrong way. It's going to be way too expensive. I have a friend from Thailand and um, she said she'd saved up for about a year to come to Australia and in three weeks all those savings in a year depleted, gone. So what I've, uh, what I've decided to do while I'm in Sydney is make a few videos and show you guys what you can actually do in Sydney and how much more there is to Sydney uh, than the CBD or uh, downtown as some people might call it. Um, if we go out west there's going to be way better food options accommodation is way cheaper out here there's a lot more culture sydney is by far one of the most multicultural cities in the world so let's go see what it's all about so if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know where we're going to first uh they're my client tang tang and i do their social media advertising oh boy what's happening here so uh, back in the 90s uh, cabramatta used to have a really bad reputation uh it was known for heroin. Yeah. Now it's mostly cleaned up now. Um, it's like a big uh, hub for Southeast Asian cultures to congregate. As we saw, there was a there was a Buddhist temple where we started this video. So the last haircut I got was um, in Thailand in Pattaya. That would have been like what, four dollars, four dollars eighty or something like that. Um, usually a haircut, a male's haircut in Sydney will cost about thirty, thirty-five dollars. Let's compare it. We'll see what we're getting here in Cabramatta. Mm. Okay, I'll see you next time, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna like we're gonna get lost. We're gonna find like an alleyway and uh see what sort of Surprises we can find. Let's see the, those bags. You can put like this. How about this one? Maybe this one, yeah, maybe. Oh, oh I see. They're not going to take card, so I've got to uh, go find an ATM. Okay, I can't, I can't seem to find an ATM. Uh, hello, hello. Thank you. No worries, man. Thank you. So I've got a bum bag. I've been looking one for ages. Looking for one for ages. And I uh, yeah, finally, finally got one. Usually, th this shop is like. There's a line outside the door, so I thought, you know, today I'll try them out. Um, it was like eight dollars for this milk tea, which is actually a bit more expensive, but you know, who knows? It might be, it might be really good. These usually go for about five dollars, six dollars. I've seen them, but yeah, this one's eight dollars. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. Nice. With the old combination next time, okay. you will like it. I've been dying to try this place. It's a bit more expensive, so we'll have to do like a. We'll have to rate it. I should do um, do like a best uh, iced tea in Sydney or something. Best milk tea. So I've just parked under this uh, this tree, and uh, oh, this saw some. There's this uh, gang of pigeons and uh, they've just been... ...having their way with my car, so... ...we uh, probably should move. God damn, I can hear like this... 
pitter patter. Look at this. What the? F I should. Uh, it should be aware of Cabramatta and the parking situation. It is very, very uh, congested out here. So finding parking is really not easy. Uh, See, so have a look. Yeah, and then like you've got bus zones, and you just gotta you just gotta be careful where you park. Ah oh, man, goddamn pigeons! Absolutely nowhere to park. And like as we saw at the markets there, like it's it's, it's a very popular place to come shopping. Ah oh, man, I keep like getting excited. I'm thinking, oh shit, I've just seen a parking spot. It's not. Jeez, you are a fat pigeon. Are you okay? Yeah. I think uh, that pigeon is on its way up. Hey! Hey! You okay? I was a fat boy, man. Right, this bag is gonna make my life infinitely easier. I just saw like a couple of other pigeons like bullying this guy. Get off the road, man. No, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out. Let him go, let him go. He's sick, sick, sick bird. He goes. Alright? No, he go. I didn't go. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> oh, man. The bird almost got. Let's try this um, expensive ST. Pretty damn good. For eight dollars, I don't know, but it's pretty good. So I've spent pretty much the whole day like wandering around, going through shops and everything. And um, look, I'm getting a little bit hungry right now, so we should uh, try and find some food now. So this is this behind me is like a big uh, plaza or like it's called Dutton Plaza. It's like a big market. Uh, all your Vietnamese stuff, all your Cambodian stuff. Uh, you do Pad Kapao? Pad Kapao? Thai style, Thai style, not Aussie style, Thai style. Thai style, yeah. Yeah, it's very hard to like find um, Thai style Pad Kapao in Australia. Like, they don't really use the mints, they use uh, like chicken breast or like actual cuts of meat. You want it a pork chicken? Uh, mu. Mu, uh? Mu ka pao. Mu ka pao. Chai, chai. Bơ yi sip na? Pet pet. Pet pet lai na? Okay. Uh, 13 dollar please. Uh, with egg or no egg? With the egg. You want a hot tea? Chai. Okay. Can chai. Kapu mark. Ah, welcome, Are you welcome? Uh, I've got high hopes for this pad kapow. I have a feeling it might be legit, like legit kapow, like the stuff you get in uh, Thailand. We'll see. I've asked for mu, which is the pork one, and uh, she brought me a, a tea. And some sort of soup, I don't know. Oh, yeah. With a, with a Coke, it's um, 15 bucks. So I think it was like $14? $14 for 15, 13, 13, 13, that's what she said. The 13 bucks for a Kapow and uh, 2 bucks for the Coke. Cup, cup, cup. This is 
what I've been waiting for, man. Like, you know, it doesn't take much to make me uh, to make me happy. Because, um, you know the dish I always order, the Thai dish, Pat Kha Pao? I found a legit one. So I was, I was um, wondering if it's okay, I'll get you one and you can try it. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, cool. I really want you to try this. This place is called... Um, Sabaidi Kitchen. And um, I think it's just across the road from uh, that Dutton Plaza. Um, I feel like I'm uh, back in Bangkok or something. Can the elderly use the... Yeah, of course. Please, sir. I thought they meant to sit here. Take, 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 take. Good. Okay. You guys um, might be wondering why I'm always like fiending for Pad Kapow. When uh, I went to Thailand on my own for the first time in November last year. Uh, I've been there a few times before, but when I went there on my own, uh, I was in quarantine, so they actually they were bringing us food for the 24 hours I was there. So it was like three meals. First meal they brought me was pad kapow, and no joke. Like sometimes in your life you have like a meal which just opens your eyes in a different way. Uh, that was one of those experiences for me. Look, this one. probably the closest thing I've had to the most authentic Pad Kapow in Australia. And like, for these sort of meals you kind of have to work and look look around and try and find like the, the hidden sort of uh, hidden sort of restaurants. Uh, what I might do is if I can find it on Google Maps. Yeah okay what I'll do um, I'll put like a link to the Google uh, the Google drop and you guys can sort of uh, if, if, if you feel like trying some actual Pad Kapow in Australia like legit Pad Kapow, uh, come here. Because, yeah, I do feel, I really feel like I'm in Asia right now. Mm. Hey, you do too much, can I have to get takeaway? <laughs> Some aloe ma. Aloe ma, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you aloe ma. Aloe ma, but you not eat. You cannot, eat. cannot, too much. Hello, Mark. <laughs> so do you see why this is like one of my favorite places in Sydney? So much happening and so many, uh, it's so diverse. Just this little, uh, this little concentration in Southwest Sydney. There's one last thing I've got to show you guys. So if you're, um, where is it? I think this is the corner of uh, Park Road and Arthur Street. So. And it's just here, like you can't miss it. We're just at the big sign here. This food court. So everything's closed now, but um, this food court is popping in the daytime, like. I'm actually looking for something in particular. Uh, they don't have it here. That BKK one, that's it's uh it's the bomb. We'll see all the old blokes playing checkers and stuff. But we all know chess is the real game. Right, I think if we go back to Sabaidi, where we were before, they've, they've definitely got it. I saw it there. Oh, this one, this one, very good. This one, uh, taro, yeah? Taro. Taro. Uh, maybe two taro? Vietnamese. Oh, bon lao. Sabaidi bowl. Right, I saw this. She was giving out some free samples. I'll try one. Which one, which one do you recommend? Uh, so Biscoff is the most popular. Biscoff? Yep. And also cinnamon sugar. No, 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 no. What's this one? Ube? It's ube. And this one, ube. This one's ube? Yeah. Alright, I'll try that. And this one's pandan pepper. I'll try this. Tastes like ube. It's really good. There's actually some good donuts, man. Um, might get some more, actually. It might... Uh, nah. 
So there we have part one of this series. Going through multicultural Sydney. Um, yeah, this, look, I love to travel, but I do love Sydney City as well. It's one of the best cities in the world, I think. Uh, there are a lot of things that sort of <laughs> gets on my nerves about Sydney that I wish, you know, it was run a little bit better. But hey, we all, we all have our own gripes with our home cities and everything. There's so much variety and so many things to love here. If it wasn't for the weather, like you, you'd think you're in Southeast Asia here. I'll, I'll always say that. Like, it just does not feel like Australia here. Like, if you don't speak English, you can probably get by here. Just, just to like highlight how multicultural or Southeast Asian influence this place is, the local clubs, the local club here is actually called Mekong. So what do we do today? We got a, a Vietnamese haircut, got some Thai food, and uh, bought a bag. Did a bit of shopping, walking around. Man, there we go, Mekong Mounties Group. So yeah, if, you, if you're traveling around Australia, and you stop off in Sydney, really like get out of the city, go out and like there's so many different suburbs and different uh, ethnic enclaves that you can go visit. So this is just the first one. Um, I don't know, next one, next one, where should we look at? So as always, uh, thank you for joining me on this little, uh, this mini adventure through Southwest Sydney, Cabramatta. Man. I pretty much always have a good time when I'm here. Like, there's good food, good people. All right, let's see how much uh, how much love the pigeons gave to my car. Yeah, a couple of fresh ones, but we'll be all right. <laughs> 